Nice. Mm. Sophisticated lady. Mm. <laughs> Our special guest is Barbara Eberhardt, and you are a sophisticated <laughs> lady. Tell us Thank a little you. about your background and how you became this amazing artist with all these wonderful art creations. Tell us how it started for you. Ah, thank you, Oliver. Um, actually, it, it started so long ago, I don't even remember when it was. I've always been drawing pictures. I've always been an artist. I don't remember any other life for me. Um, and it's no surprise that here I am still painting. Ah, you <laughs> must love what you're doing because when we look at your paintings, mm. we feel this sense of uh, peace and love and all the good things mm -hmm. that when you view a painting, it almost comes alive for us. Mm -hmm. um, you paint flowers, and one of the things we like to put out very early in the show, because people are, when they see flowers, they think botanicals. Mm, what yes. is different about your painting? Thank you. Yes, botanicals. Botanicals are beautiful. Um, in the olden days, before they had cameras, um, people would go and, and discover new worlds, and they would have new foliage, and they would bring artists that would draw them so they could come back to um, America or wherever and say, this is what an orchid looks like. Wow, that, we've never seen that before. That's not why I paint. That's not why I paint. Um, it's not just to show what a flower looks like. It's all the meaning and the love and the philosophy, if you will, my message that's behind it. And it's so important that we talk about your message when we look at mm. your paintings because people tend to kind of glaze over when they see flowers. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful. Next. Thank but you. But your art keeps you there for a moment. It makes you think, it evoke feelings, mm -hmm. it makes you get excited, it mm -hmm. makes you curious, it makes you want... Uh, excited, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. And so that's why we wanted to take the time to bring your paintings to Santa mm. Barbara so we can share it because mm. it does so much for somebody when they watched it. Let's start with your first painting because we chose this one because it says a lot. Thank you, yes. Um, this is the peace dove over the globe, the world. Um, basically, it's the way I can create peace on Earth. Um, <laughs> it was a design that um, my daughter and I put onto the Imadanari mission floor this, this particular last year. Mm -hmm. um, I was delighted. To, um, I represented Unity of uh, Santa Barbara. And just the whole idea of somehow creating that I feel that peace is what's important. And when you look at this, Hopefully, you'll get that feeling of peace. Ooh, peace is so important. Did you feel that that uh, is evoked in this painting, and why? I did because as I was painting it, you know, with the chalk on the ground, and it's a three-day event and really, really fun um, and a lot of work, um, little girls would walk by and say, Look, Mommy, there's the dove of you, of the peace dove. You know, they, they, they got it. You know, children did, um, grown-ups did. It's like, oh, there's the piece. So, yeah, I could see that people walking around were saying, we like it, we like it. It gives us a good feeling, and that's what I want my art to do. This painting is evolving to be on a T-shirt. Tell us a little about that, <laughs> <laughs> how that came about. Yes, it, it will. Um, I had created T-shirts for um, Unity of, of Hawaii, mm -hmm. and, um, in fact, uh, the same design was um, throughout America, in, uh, in their t-shirts that we um, created as a fundraiser. And um, I will be working uh, with the Unity of Santa Barbara and um, creating something like that for us. And underneath it's going to say, it's all about community. So, Beautiful. you know, that's Beautiful. what, you know, the, the, the really sincere spiritual paths are all about each other and community. So yeah, It is all about <clears throat> community. It takes a village. It takes a village. Now, there's a connection with the next painting next to it, so let's take a peek at that and see what's the connection. What is it about this painting that connects to that painting? Well, thank you. This one actually is called Peace also. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, it's from a photograph that I, I, I painted from um, that my daughter had, had uh, taken in Singapore. And when I first saw it, it just struck me how beautiful, how regal, and how calm, it's a very straight up image. And just the whole feeling, when I, when I um, meditate, I kind of feel like I'm spreading my arms and just being part of the universal whatever. And um, this felt that way to me. And so I really enjoyed the 
vulnerability and the innocence and the peace. No, I get a softness from this painting. <laughs> Was that something you instilled in it, or, uh, or am I imagining things? Thank you. Um, actually, yes. Um, my way that I've always painted is a very softly blended um, technique. It's with oil, and uh, every time you have colors together, you soften them. Uh, so people have always asked me if I do um, airbrush, but I don't. Um, it's just very time-consuming and painstaking method of doing oil, but I like it too. I like it when it's real soft like this. I mean, if you get really close, you still can't see the brush strokes. strokes. It does look, um, it looks like it's airbrush. So it gives you that feeling of the airbrush, yes. but it's a process that takes a lot of time to get there. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. But um, it's just... It's peaceful. I mean, I think it lives up to its name. I, I think it feels peaceful. Now, if someone had this in their home, do you feel that they, it would evoke that same sense of peace? Do you get that with your paintings? Good question. My patrons and um, you know, my collectors do tell me over and over that when they wake up in the morning and they see something that I've painted, that it gives them that you know, that good feeling about, okay, I'm going to start my day and it's going to be good. You know, and that's mm -hmm. really what I'm trying to do is you're not really owning a painting as much as you're owning a good day, you know, mm -hmm. on a daily basis, one day at a time. So these paintings do evoke feelings of encouragement mm -hmm. and peace and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and th that's unique to most of your paintings, is that correct? That's what I'm trying to do. I really am trying to, my gift to the world or... Um, you know, whatever it is, um, is to give that joy and peace. Um, on my website, um, it says, painting peace, joy, and serenity, one flower at a time. Hmm. So this is another example of uh, painting peace, joy, and serenity, and it just looks like it's a flower. It looks like a flower. <laughs> it looks like a flower. But it's, you're painting peace, joy, and serenity. That's what I'm painting. Yes, Wonderful. you can see it on my website. We're with Barbara Eberhardt. We're looking at, we were looking at some of her slides of her amazing work. And now we're back live on set and we have this masterpiece of an art that she created. And tell me about this piece. What's it about? Thank you. I call this serenity. So remember I said I'm painting peace, joy, and serenity? Yes. This one is actually called Serenity. Um, when I had moved here, and I was only here um, for 10 months on the anniversary of the 10 month of living, moving here, um, I had the opening of my first solo exhibit here at the Faulkner West. And this was anchoring, this was the middle of the entire show. And many of you have probably been to the Faulkner West and you know how beautiful it is. Um, well, this was the centerpiece for it. And people, when they walked in, they said, this feels so serene. And it certainly does. I also like this piece because, I don't know if this is showing on camera, but this center is really um, the source. I call this the source. Thank you. Um, the, all of the water lilies are coming from this one same spot, which of course is the roots. But I love the idea because I think of, um, you know, we all have our source. We all have our higher power, the universal intelligence, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. But it's um, the source that where we all come from. So that's the first time I had done that on this painting and I really liked it. Now I noticed with most of your paintings, Barbara, that you tend to seem to connect water lilies. There's something about the water mm -hmm. and the flower. Tell me about why. What's that for you? I just love water lilies. They really touch my soul. And frankly, um, when I meditate, one of the images that really works for me is to visualize that I am a water lily and I'm in the pond with all the other water lilies and I can feel you know, the hot sun on my belly and I really feel that feeling of peace and joy as a water lily. So when I'm painting water lilies, it's about that joy that comes connected to universal source. Why water lilies? I don't know. It just works for me. I once had a, um, I once had a, a water lily pond in mm -hmm. Hawaii, a very large one that we had built, and um, I just fell in love with the whole image. You know, and, and, and lotuses have always been about really rising from the mud and being our best, reaching up to the higher, um, and, uh, and I'm a very idealistic ex-hippie as it is, <laughs> but um, yes, just to feel that um, connected and trying to reach higher and be our very best.
Now this is one of your favorite paintings. It is. And I said that because I noticed it on your postcards and some of yes. your um, stuff on your website. Yes. Why? Why? It just feels, well one thing, it was really hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was really hard. Um, I had taken so many uh, water lily photos at um, uh, Lotus Land and I just really wanted to create this feeling of the serenity and the joy and the colors from Santa Barbara and it just, it, it, whenever I still, whenever I look at it, it's on my wall. You can't see it at a, at a gallery right now because I really like it. And it makes me feel like the way I hope my artwork makes people feel, really serene and um, comfortable. Do your artwork hangs in people's homes? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, I have a patron in uh, Hawaii right now who has, I think the last count is 27 of my originals. Oh. And many of them are very large. Um, so he's, um, yeah. He collects them. He collects them. And um, thank God his wife loves my art too because um, they, they really, it's, it's beautiful to walk in there and, and it feels um, serene. Wonderful. <laughs> I'll play some music for us so we can <laughs> feel serene. <laughs> like Barbara said. I'm loving the music. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Al Reese, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, your music makes me feel serene, but boy, the Buddha <laughs> gives me a quiet peace. Was that your intention? It so much was. Thank you so much. I'm glad it works for you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Buddha. This actually came from a friend of mine's garden. This was actually the way his garden looked. He was leaving the home, his childhood home, and moving to the big island, and I wanted to capture what he had had, what he had lived with all of his life, and I really liked this Buddha statue. The painting itself is called Prayer and Meditation, and the Buddha is kind of obvious. You know, we all think of meditation with the Buddha. It mm -hmm. was, it was in the garden, but he had it surrounded by these plants and these are called prayer plants because they fold up at night so that's why it's called prayer and meditation and is supposed to give you a serene beautiful feeling so it's so appropriate that you have the pr prayer plants mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. surrounding the buddha mm -hmm. and make the concepts become the concept become real Thank you. Yes. That was that was. deliberate? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And it, 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 it is supposed to give you a really peaceful feeling. And I really like the little gecko right here, kind of looking up expectedly mm -hmm. and just you know, paying attention, focusing, you know, like what we all need to do. So when people see this uh, painting, what does it do for them? You mentioned focus. Mm -hmm. What else, you think? What's the feedback you get? It reminds them to go within. Mm -hmm. You know, the Buddha's with his half-closed eyes. It's always about looking within, not for everything outside for your uh, serenity and joy, but something that comes from within. You know, even the Bible says the kingdom of God is within you. You know, the, the Buddhists feel it's within, what's within. And um, that's basically what this is about, is going within for our peace and our happiness. So you think if someone had this in this home, in their home, it would motivate them to have that feeling? It's somewhere they can go to feel within, as you say? I, I think that would happen. And um, the people that I know who have prints of this in their home um, say that that is what works for them when they see it. It's like, oh, yes, that joy that's within. And it is a good reminder. I think we need good reminders in life. To go within. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's make a connection with the next painting as we talked about well, 
being within. Thank you, thank you. Um, as you can see, this, this one is so busy. It's really a lot of things going on in this picture. And this one basically is one big white flower. It's a double hibiscus. It was growing here in Santa Barbara. But unlike all the interesting plants on this one, there's just one. But what ties it together is, even though there's all these beautiful soft undulating petals, the eye really is drawn to the inside, the within. The, the, the focal point is where the brighter pink is and the little orange, I think they're pollen buds or something. Mm -hmm. That's what they look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the inside, and it's just a, another way of saying, um, look within, look within, start your day looking within. <laughs> now here we have an amazing painting right in front of us and we want to make sure you can see. Tell us a little about this painting because for me this active. There's action going here. Mm -hmm. There's a feeling of <laughs> a beautiful lady and all this emotion. Share it with me a little. This is called immersion and it's actually one of the lessons I need to learn so I put it in this painting. Um, this is my daughter again, beautiful daughter, who is totally immersed in the water lily pond, so much so that she's becoming the water lily pond. See the fish are becoming her skin, her hair is becoming the uh, pa lily pad. And she is totally safe to do so because she's protected by this beautiful creature down here. So it's kind of a message to me um, and anyone else uh, that you can be totally immersed in life and still be protected. So, you know, get involved, you know, get beyond your boundaries, get out of your comfort zone, um, be part of, and you're safe to do so. Now, what was the motivation to do this one? My daughter had um, <laughs> moved to New York at the time, and um, I was worried for her. You know, she was going to school at Parsons in New York, and uh, I thought, um, is she going to be safe? It's so far away from Hawaii. And I just really had to learn that um, She's going to be safe. We're all safe. We're all protected. And to just let go of worrying about her, she likes to get immersed in life, and I needed to learn to do the same thing and let go of her. So, yeah, thank you. That's what it was. <laughs> I see. Mm -hmm. Tell us, Barbara, because it's so alive. It's so bright. It's so tasty. <laughs> what is it? I call this, I call this rainbow grapes. First it was called the bunch, but there's a reason I changed it. And they are actually called rainbow grapes. When these particular types of grapes are about to turn, um, ripen, they actually um, do turn this, all these different colors. And I did not take uh, artistic liberty. They actually look like this. This is from a <laughs> photograph. Um, but I love the idea of it because to me it's like no matter what color any of us are, we're all part of the same bunch. You know, the whole bunch of us. So I love the unity with all of that. Um, and then, of course, um, I like the idea that they're rainbow grapes because with recent legislation for um, same-sex marriage, I love that I have painted rainbow grapes before it was even popular. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I love so my rainbow So there are lots grapes. of significance to it. Yes, yes. The rainbow, of course, you talk mm -hmm. about same-sex marriage, the mm -hmm. symbol of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the, the succulent nature of it. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> people love grapes. Mm -hmm. And then the amazing color that mm -hmm. is bursting out. Mm -hmm. it, it's just so an, an alive painting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would definitely want to have this painting near me. Thank you. I, I, I really love it, too. I, it, it, it took a long time, you know, because each one of these grapes really does come out as three-dimensional as I could possibly make it. So um, I like the, the boldness and the joy and the here we go. So, um, yeah, be bold. Like. Now, as we said earlier, when people get a first view of this, they would say, grapes. Mm -hmm. But it's bigger than that. It's, mm -hmm. it's not just about the grapes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you see nature unfolding mm -hmm. in such beautiful array of colors. Mm -hmm. And you capture it so wonderfully. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's so an, an alive painting. I, and it just makes me thirsty. <laughs> mm. I, I, I like to think that it's just screaming um, unity, togetherness, um, open-mindedness, not judging, and doing it in a loud, joyful way.
I like when you talked about the bunch. Tell me more about that because there are so many symbolism about us bunching together because we come from all walks of life and diversity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it seems as a bunch, there is this universal beauty we see when we're together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I couldn't have said it better. Um, <laughs> that's exactly how I feel, that exactly what's important to me. Um, <clears throat> my, my goal is that when you would look at this painting, you would feel that unity. We are all on the same bunch of grapes together. Mm -hmm. And if we could start to take care of our planet with that in mind, take care of each other with that in mind. I mean, everything that I create really is about, can we, why, uh, like they said, in, in, um, why can't we all just get, get along? along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and as, as a bunch. As a bunch. As of a beautiful bunch. <laughs> grapes, which we all are to some extent. We are. Uh, we all come from different backgrounds, but yet in our diversity, we're all beautiful together.